This has been called the golden age of cancer research. New treatments are now curing cancers that were previously considered death sentences. But there's a problem. As Alison Bushnick explains, some Canadian children fighting the disease don't have access to these new therapies because of where they live. 841. That's the number of days that Helena Kirk had chemotherapy for leukemia. It started when she was only three. It worked. She's now 12 and healthy, but she knows not everyone is so fortunate. If your family lives in the right province, or if they have just the right amount of money to save their life, it's not right. And so that's why I'm doing this, this life-saving therapeutic network, which should too. What she's doing is trying to get better care for pediatric cancer patients. The issue is where you live. Despite the proliferation of cutting-edge new cancer treatments, children can't always access an early-phase clinical trial if it's being done in a province where they don't live. These are my friends, and they're dying, waiting for clinical trials that may never come. There's no clear system of who gets approval and who doesn't. It depends on the treatment, it depends on the province, it depends on the diagnosis, so it's quite variable. And it's needed for families who have run out of options. So currently, we're actually doing very well. We cure 80% of children with cancer, which is an amazing success. But for the 20% who we don't cure, most of their outcomes with standard therapy are quite dismal. So more than 23 leading oncologists and 27 cancer groups have joined forces. They want Health Canada to create an equitable system and to earmark $15 million over five years to cover medical costs in another province. Patrick Sullivan's son, Finn, died from cancer at the age of three. We need to be able to provide access for patients to get from outside their home province to these clinical trials. Part of the issue is early trials used to be considered experimental. This oncologist says there's now better evidence that these treatments can work. It's really a time where we know we have more effective treatments and we need to get access to them before the cancer has progressed to the point where they will no longer be effective. Health Canada says it has approved more than 100 clinical trials for pediatric cancers over the last five years. You can open 100 of them. If they're only open in one place, that's only one province that gets access. Helena hopes a change can be made, and quickly. Kids are dying. I have a friend named Jane. She, she passed away in March because uh, she was waiting for a clinical trial, and it came too late. So. Alison Bushnick, Global News, Toronto.